I thank you with wide receiver coach Terrence Samuel. And you were really excited last year about your wide receiving core that you got. What's this group like? Um, well, about the same as far as excitement. I mean, we got some guys uh, that, you know, when they get the ball, I think they can be really exciting with the ball. Um, I think when we also have some guys that with some nice height, uh, some strength, um, that'll be able to, you know, whatever type of DBs we go against, I think, you know, there's going to be some advantages we have. So uh, I'm excited about, you know, the wide range of things my guys can do. I think at, at the top of the list is obviously Hunter Risen, and Risen is a name that a lot of people know here mm -hmm. at Michigan State. Um, what is the initial thing that he can bring to this offense? Well, uh, enthusiasm right now. His, he, I mean, he, as a freshman coming through the door, I mean, I'm not saying he's trying to own the joint, but he's definitely letting people know that he's here to play. So, I mean, it's fun seeing that that infectious enthusiasm uh, for a guy that comes through the door and, and loves being a Spartan. I mean, you know, he's got the, the legacy component, and, you know, he wants to be here he wants to see this team, this, this university, this program do well. Um, so I'm expecting him to push the program and push the players uh, in this wide receiver position um, to another level. So he's immediately bringing some swag uh, here. Uh, swag and then some. So I mean, <laughs> hopefully, I mean, I, hopefully I can get his swag, make sure it's, it's, it's assignment sound. But it, right now he's, uh, he's got a lot of swag. His recruiting story is something that kind of intrigued me as well. He committed to Michigan State, then decommitted, and then obviously eventually signed here again. As a coach, what is important throughout that whole process when a player is still deciding yeah the biggest thing is the relationships I mean you see so much going on uh, in, in recruiting I mean if you don't have a good relationship with them and you know there's some teams that put a lot of extra pressure on him well why are you committing committing or decommitting uh, we want a young man to kind of go through the process and commit to being a Spartan that's why you don't over push that's why you know in the end they stay with you longer if you know that hey, it was their decision they're committed to you. They want to see the program get better. And like I said, come in with that infectious attitude and enthusiasm. You know, uh, that's going to carry weight in this program. Um, that's what being having that chip on your shoulders about is having kids that come in with a program deciding to become Spartans. Um, and then it makes it easy to coach. It makes it easy to get into that game and, and grind and, and, and win, win, win get big time games uh, for the Spartans. Who else are you excited about? Um, I mean, Cody White is going to be one of those guys that, you know, I mean, he's a basketball player. He's got baseball skills. You know, I mean, so the hand-eye coordination is there. But, you know, the rhythm and for a tall guy to be able to move like that, um, you know, and then when he gets it, I mean, he's special. And then, you know, he's got a little quarterback in him too. So if you slip on that, I mean, we'll have him throw a couple of balls. So he brings in an extra added dimension um, that, you know, like I said, I mean, he's kind of in that B.J. Cunningham uh, range and uh, Tony Lippett mentality. So um, there's the sky's the limit for him. You just got to learn the offense, as I always tell him. You can't play until you know what to do. So You, you mentioned uh, B.J. Cunningham, Tony Lippett. Um, you know, you could add Aaron Burbridge to the list. Mm -hmm. Three guys who ha were 1,000-yard receiver guys. How much do you play that up to recruits when you go out there? Well, I mean, you really shouldn't have to play it up much, I think, because most of these kids do all their homework before you even come in the, come in the, in the classroom with them. So, um, I mean, it's something that's helped uh, tremendously in our program to have guys that's had success. You know, even though you know Tony's playing DB right now in the league, I mean, I know that helps us in a lot of uh, a lot of different ways. But I think you know, just having you know players recognize that these players have had success, you know, and they've also had some tough times too, you know. So, um, but if you just stick with the program, stick with us, you know, have that trust, believe in us, we believe in you. We'll make things happen. All right. Well, thank you for the time. The receiving core was a strength in last year's class and once again in this year's class.